Is it just me, or is there something seriously off about this Swalwell guy? And what the hell is that name, Swalwell? Swalwell has been one of the loudest promoters of the Russian collusion hoax, and on more than one occasion has claimed that Trump is a Russian agent. Remember, Judiciary, do you believe the president right now has been an agent of the Russians? Yes, I, I think there's more evidence than he agent. is. Yes. He also hasn't relented since we all learned that there will be no indictments against Trump or his family or anybody around him, and there was no Russian collusion found. However, like most conspiracy theorists, Swalwell is not going to be easily convinced. The media usually just tees this guy up to spout anti-Trump rhetoric about Russia, but in this case, surprisingly, Jake Tapper actually asked him some tough questions. I have a little conspiracy theory of my own to explain that, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Quote, we should ban possession of military-style semi-automatic assault weapons. We should buy back such weapons from all who choose to abide by the law, and we should criminally prosecute any who choose to defy it by keeping their weapons. Right off the bat, Swalwell is using deceptive tactics by describing these guns as, quote, military-style semi-automatic assault weapons. An assault weapon is literally just any weapon that can do harm to somebody. It's a political term that I think is purposely meant to confuse with the term assault rifle, which is a fully automatic rifle. Swalwell and other anti-Second Amendment Democrats want people thinking that these are machine guns, when the fact is an AR-15 is no different than a Ruger Mini-14, and that gun would be safe under this ban. Their fears seem to be based on cosmetics that have nothing to do with the mechanical operation of the gun. The people that Swalwell is talking to don't realize that most guns are semi-automatic, and when they hear semi-automatic, they're thinking fully automatic. That's one reason I think a so-called assault weapons ban is so dangerous to the Second Amendment, because it's no doubt that it would go after all guns eventually. A common argument I see on the left is that we don't need AR-15s because if the government became tyrannical, it would be no use because they would just use the military to bomb us and nuke us. Eric Swalwell himself suggested that if we don't give up our guns, the military would just nuke us. Isn't it baffling that Swalwell rationalizes taking away our gun rights, quote, for the children, yet thinks nothing of nuking fellow American citizens, which includes children, if we don't all comply? What's the punishment for people who don't hand in their guns? Do they go to jail? Well, Jake, uh, they would, but I also offer an alternative, which would be to keep them at a hunting club or a shooting range. What a bargain! <laughs> that sounds like quite a plan you have there, Mr. Swalwell. Turn more than half of the country into felons and leave criminals armed to the teeth while you start a civil war where you would presumably use nukes against American citizens. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with Mr. Swalwell. I can't think of a single armed citizen that I know of that would ever comply with a gun confiscation. You would inevitably lock up or kill a bunch of American citizens, piss off a bunch of people, and almost certainly ignite a civil war. That's just not going to fly in this country. None of us want kids hurt or killed. That's a thought that none of us want entering our minds at all. If we're living in a country where only those in power and those who break the law can arm themselves, then the rest of us will always just be at their mercy. That's not a situation that we can allow to happen. I know you know this, but the vast majority of gun-related deaths in this country are not related to these semi-automatic assault weapons, whatever you want to call them. Exactly. I can't believe that I'm hearing this on CNN. Like I mentioned earlier, I do have my own little conspiracy theory about this. I think it's likely done in service of casting Swalwell as an extremist so the other Democrats look more moderate on gun control. Even though they aren't. Tapper is right, though. Most shootings, crime, and murders in this country are done by handguns. According to the FBI, handguns are used 19 times more than rifles and murders. So why is it that you're so focused on the big, bad, scary gun over the handgun that is responsible for more crime and more murder? I wonder how he's going to respond to this question. Will he also confiscate handguns and at the very least be consistent? You actually do want to take away people's guns? You know, keep your pistols, keep your long rifles, keep your shotguns. I want the most dangerous weapons, these weapons of war, out of the hands of the most dangerous people. That's their new go-to term when assault weapon isn't working like it used to. Quote, weapons of war. How is this weapon of war any different from a Ruger Mini-14 hunting rifle? As far as I know, it's just cosmetic. Both have the same ammo, the same rate of fire, and both can hold 30-round clips. I don't know what Swalwell's deal is. Can he not Google this information, or is he just spreading misinformation on purpose? He says he wants to keep guns away from the most dangerous people, but once he takes guns away from law-abiding citizens, the only people who will be able to get guns will be the most dangerous people. This is just stupid. The problem with mass shootings in our country has a lot more to do with our society and mental health than it does guns. 
But you can secure more power and more control over the population by addressing those things. Hey, thanks for watching. Even though it probably won't matter, go ahead and try hitting that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to invest into what I'm doing here and help support the growth of this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or donating to me on PayPal. You can also subscribe to me on Subscribestar. And don't forget to check out our new t-shirt designs over at the Teespring store. Thanks.